It's a composite structure of concrete, steel and aluminium. The grid and windows follow another pattern still. Chicago by night presents a skyline that is not easily forgotten. Detroit, the center of the American car industry, has many buildings in the modern pattern. This is the Ford building, designed by Skidmore. The huge canopy is one striking example of the use of space when it is available. The mullions form unbroken lines reaching to the top story. Between them are the walls of aluminium and glass. This great aluminium cupola covers the auditorium at the technical center of General Motors at Detroit. The estate, which covers an area like an industrial town, is made up of 25 blocks of buildings. There's a lake of over 20 acres in area and many miles of roadways. This time, architects under Aero Saarinen have looked outwards instead of upwards and set out to create an environment which would have an aesthetic influence on the work of the research and design staff. The the water tower, which supplies the area, is of lenticular design. Its novel tank is in keeping with the rest of the scheme. To inspect the 370 acres, it's more convenient to use a car. Everywhere, big areas of aluminium and glass curtain walling can be seen. The design has been modified to meet the needs of special buildings. Monotony is avoided by the brightly coloured brick gables which have been sighted to break up the long lines of the buildings themselves. A look at another of the buildings will allow closer study of the glass and aluminium facade. None of the individual buildings is exactly like its neighbour, 